should have left that book where you found it. You know, Vincent, there is a thing called acceptance. I'm only telling you this for your own good. This is not such a bad life. It is a life. These are hard walls to keep banging your head against. They're not so hard. So, you finally seen sense and came back to your old job, Vincent. No, not yet, I'm afraid. No? What's keeping you? Just a slow learner, I guess. I guess so. Well, while you're up there, maybe you could tidy the place up a bit. I'll well, see what I can do. Don't go getting everybody lost out there. You'll give us a bad name. You won't have me to keep an eye on you, you know. <laughs> and by the way, I left some trash in your locker. I'll take care of it. Your extracted eggs, uh, Marie, have been fertilized with Antonio's sperm. After screening, we are left, as you see, with two healthy boys and two very healthy girls. Naturally, no critical predispositions to any of the major inheritable diseases. All that remains is to select the most compatible candidate. Uh, first, we, we may as well decide on gender. Uh, we would want... Vincent to have a brother, you know, um, to play with. Oh, of course you would. Hello, Vincent. Uh, well, you have specified hazel eyes, dark hair, and uh, fair skin. I have taken the liberty of eradicating any potentially prejudicial conditions, uh, premature baldness, myopia, alcoholism, and addictive susceptibility, uh, propensity for violence, obesity, etc. We didn't want... I mean, diseases, yes, but... Um... Right, I mean, we were just wondering if we should leave a few things to chance. You, you want to give your child the best possible start. Believe me, we have enough imperfections built in already. No, your child doesn't need any additional burdens. And keep in mind, this child is still you. Simply the best of you. You could conceive naturally a thousand times and never get such a result. He's right. Uh, I have to tell you, Mr. Freeman, your new son's going to be at least a head taller than you, so prepare for a crick in the neck in, say, 16 years' time. <laughs> Very good, then. Is there anything I've forgotten? Oh, we want him, uh... We were hoping that he would get married and have children. 
see, we'd, we'd like uh, some grandchildren. Yeah, I understand. I've already taken care of that. Uh, now, you appreciate I can only work with the raw material I have at my disposal, but for a little extra, I could also attempt to insert sequences associated with enhanced mathematical or musical ability. Oh, Anton, the choir. Uh, I, I have to caution you, it's not foolproof. With multi-gene traits, there can be no guarantees. Well, how much extra? It'd be 5,000 or more. <laughs> I'm sorry, there's, 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 there's no way. Don't worry, you'll probably do just as well singing to him in the womb. <laughs> uh, well, we can implant the most successful pre-embryo right away, if you like. What will happen to the others? Uh, they are not babies, Marie. Merely human possibilities. Smaller than a grain of sand. Director? I don't have to tell you how important this expedition is. Titan could hold the key to the origin of life. Chiron will give us an insight into solar systems beyond. Of course, it will not be we who travel to the nearest stars, but a species like us, with more of our strengths and fewer of our weaknesses. Excuse me, Director. The investigators have begun their testing. Testing? Why are they testing? They think someone here is an imposter. As if we don't know who we are? Tell them to come back after we launch. They insist. They're testing everyone now. What are you doing here, Detective? Case is solved. Well, we still have the matter of the invalid. Why is that important now? Well, it's not to me, but it's, it seemed very important to you. What's this? Your perspiration gave you away. I had it analyzed. It seems you and the eyelash share something in common. Not much, but enough to establish a rather damaging connection. Should turn you in, sir. I really should. But I guess pity's part of my better judgment. One of my many, many feelings. That's probably why I'm only a detective second class. You know, my dream is to catch a whiff of wine in your water. I swear, you're not human, Jerome. <laughs>